Welcome to TechBath and welcome to the second episode of Learn Web Scraping. In today's video, I'm gonna go over LXML um, and XPath. Um, basically, in last video, we used uh, regex to um, parse the HTML we got to get the information we need. But there is a better way to get information which is less complicated and easier to read. Uh, basically, it's called XPath. So let's just start by installing what we need for it. First, let's get rid of regex. And we're gonna import um, LXML. Oh, we're gonna import from LXML. Import HTML. After that, Let's remove all of these. We don't need this either. So once you do a request, what you're gonna do is you're gonna transform it into an element tree. An element tree is a way to uh, basically parse um, XML or HTML files using uh, uh, another language called XPath. So maybe it sounds complicated right now, but it's not really complicated. We, you don't really need to know what XML does. It basically helps you uh, convert HTML to uh, another format, which is uh, uh, usable by XPath. So we're gonna create a tree. To create it, we're gonna use HTML from string. And we're gonna, inside this, we're gonna add requests on content. Basically, it's gonna well, I said it's gonna translate or it's gonna convert the byte file to a tree that's uh, used by XPath. Once we have that, we can use tree.xpath. Let's say you wanna get the price. I'm gonna explain uh, how I how it works, how we can use XPath, but let's just uh, let's just look at what I'm doing. XPath. So we go to the page and we're gonna check what we want. Let's say this class is unique and there's only one price on the side, so you can just use uh, this class. So we can uh, identify uh, the price using a span with a class no translate. Okay, let's just try this. So um, there's a add on that's very helpful on Chrome with this XPath uh, helper, and, uh, and you can use XPath in real time using it. So Basically, XPath start like this. You say that you want to you make two uh, double slashes to say you want the whole HTML. Then I'm gonna take the spans and it's gonna uh, choose all the spans. Now I want uh, an attribute. No, I want the class to be. I want the span with a class no translate, which is right here. What we need. Now translate. There we go. Now it gives us this whole um, HTML uh, class, well, the whole HTML part. Uh, let's say it gives us basically text part. So uh, writing this is like writing this. But uh, when you do it in code, uh, you should write text uh, at this parentheses to basically get the real value and not just the uh, an elementary uh, file uh, that you can't use. So let's try this. Print price. There we go. There we go. We have the price. Now let's say you want uh, not the text here. You want uh, I don't know the ID, the item prop, or the content. These are called attributes, and to access them, you just use this at say content and you have access to the content same with the id if you want the id you get the id now um, most there's a lot of things that you can do in xpath some are easy some are more complicated you can do and or multiple conditions you can get the sibling the the next element to it, the previous but you don't really need to learn them right now it's uh, just learn them on a need-to-need -need basis. Basically, if you have a problem and you need a solution, just uh, search on Google and you will have the solution for this uh, problem. 
because I I don't think you're learning XPath just for learning XPath. Learning all documentation is interesting, so you can just start by learning the basics. Um, let's say we want to get all the links on the website. We just use the attribute href. And we get all the links that are on the website. Let's say we want to get a division. Let's say we want to, to get the title here. Okay, the title is... So you can see that it's identified with ID item title. Let's see if ID item title is unique. So we're going to do this ID. No, we're going to do um, H1 with an ID equals item title. Okay, we get one. So it's unique and you can use this because the problem sometimes in XFF is that uh, um, sometimes the names of the IDs or the spans are reused uh, everywhere and they're not unique enough. So basically, uh, if you search this on a website, maybe that's where it's not unique. You can get a lot of results that are just not useful for you. It's not the right information. But now we see that it's uh, the right information. So. Um, Basically, we have the price, uh, the title, but we don't need to get uh, this close to it. You can also do, uh, you can also really go uh, deep into uh, the HTML and the multiple a long XPath to get the same result. So let's say we start here. Okay, we have a div with this ID. Like, ah, let's not forget the slashes. Then we have a div with this ID. So when I write one slash it's the next basically uh, the it's the child elements so uh, when i say a uh, slash it's basically only these three elements that you can use like if i uh, let's say i write a slash uh, div class equals this it's not gonna work because the right next element to it is this one or this one or this one so let's say we start from here, but then we don't want to write this and then this and then this. We can do two slashes. Two slashes basically, uh, it goes, uh, it says that after this, I want something that's basically that can be here or here, basically in this whole element. So, here, let's say I want this. All right. If I write it just like that, it's not going to work. It's not going to find it because it's it starts here and then the next element is this, but this is too deep uh, into it. So we're just going to write two slashes and it's going to take it. There we go. So this is basically uh, this. I hope you understood it. Um, I don't think I explained it well enough, but you don't really need to understand it very deeply to start doing interesting things. Just know that, uh, just knowing that you can attribute, you use a, a division, a span, a combination with a class, and then you get an attribute is enough to uh, honestly do uh, most of the things. Just doing that, you know, is, is enough. I will probably do another video where I explain XPath more in depth if you guys liked it. Just tell me in the comments if you want to. A more in-depth tutorial on it so uh, i hope you guys like this video and well before i finish if you want to train just like i said uh, download the extension xpath helper on chrome and you can just like when you browse a website you just see something interesting just try you know doing some xpath uh, some days a few times a day or a week and you're just gonna get the hang of it uh, very quickly anyway thank you for watching 